Hello and welcome back to the Willow Viking podcast. Uh, I think I'm on episode 18 by now. Um, so I've got some returning guests today. We've got Dwayne on the end there for Hello. episode two, I believe. Yeah. He was on with Jen. Uh, we've got some other bloke with long hair. Some bloke with long hair. <laughs> Any reenactor, really. Andy <laughs> Stevens from the ATC from episode something Stop. 10, maybe. Stop like that. I don't know. We drank lots of booze. We did. A yes. few. And we've got Steve, who featured in another episode, but wasn't in it. He got mentioned. <laughs> I get around. <laughs> and for some reason, he volunteered for this one. Uh, so today, we're going to go through some of the bonus questions from my Patreon. Um, and we're going to eat and drink some of the food that people have said is the worst thing ever. Now, these are strange. Some of these are actually good. I don't know why they were chosen. We're not going to judge anybody. We're just going to go through them. Hopefully no one will be sick. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start on the end with Dwayne. Before we do anything else, I want to know what's the worst thing you've ever eaten? Well, it's not technically something that I ate, something more that I kind of drunk. It's kind of in between. Uh, long, long story short, I was out in Moscow. I decided that being half cut, I was going to down what I thought was a nice cold glass of milk. It turned out to be unpasteurized yak's milk. Ooh. <laughs> um, it's got the same consistency as yakult. It's sour and slightly sweet. Mm. Not exactly what you wanted after a, a night full of vodka and beer. How far down did you get down the uh, I finished. I actually finished the pint. Down in one. Um, because everybody was watching me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no one watching tonight, so... You no, 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 no is, pressure uh, at all, no. There's no easy British man doing with yak milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have yak milk today, but maybe next time. Oh. So, Andy? Um, the worst thing I've ever eaten... Um, I think it's a toss-up between uh, fermented fish, which is it just feels like being punched in the nose, and I don't particularly enjoy fish anyway. Any particular fish, or uh, it, it might have been mackerel or something. It's one of the really nastier ones as well. Someone I think on Facebook mentioned to me a Norwegian fermented mackerel. Oh. They said it tasted like burnt tires, I think, or smelled it's, like burnt tires. It's, it's a it's a smell and taste experience. That's all I want to say. It's either that or locusts. I think it was oh, locusts. Okay. Mm. Um, not particularly nasty tasting, kind of earthy. It's just uh, it's the way the heads pop. <laughs> not good. Well, you're in luck tonight, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Well, I I kind of eat everything. Um, and if not, I you know not saying the worst, but uh, I think the worst food for me would have to be oysters. <laughs> not oysters. <laughs> I actually quite like them. Uh, it's uh, got to be truffle of all the upper class things to say I don't like you know expensive shit in the ground um, <laughs> it's just disgusting looks disgusting oil's disgusting just yeah it's disgusting pigs like it. it pigs like it yeah mm. fair enough right so first off should I should I actually reveal my worst thing or should yep, I? yeah yeah I know, sure. sure I've been thinking about this all week because believe it or not up until this week I hadn't considered my answer um, and I think it's between two, really. So skunked beer, a beer that's gone off, is the only thing I would say I've probably ever physically gone and out the mouth straight away. Uh, there's other things I don't like. Oysters. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> there's other things I think well, I probably won't <laughs> like that are coming. You've got some surprises. Um, but yeah, I think probably skunked beer or a bad cup of tea. Some people make that. Oh, you've been around my sister's house. <laughs> I take it she's watching? I hope so. <laughs> you've been waiting years to reveal that. Drug your feedback is coming. <laughs> All right, yeah, so the first thing, so these aren't in any order. Um, I think we'll eat each thing and then we'll cut you guys into a clip so you can see who actually said it because not many people will have seen it because it's on Patreon. Um, so I won't reveal who suggested them. And we're not going to judge anyone here. I don't want anyone to get upset. <laughs> and if you don't want to eat it, don't. There's no macho-ness here, right? It's just for fun. So, Bush. 
with 100 percent this match you're gonna see it. Right, so <laughs> so I'm actually gonna pass. Oh, well, no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> the rule where you get one uh, pass or something. So either well. We were going. Oh, that's the other thing that Steve and we were talking about on the way here. Is do we have a rule where you have to chew it at least three times before you swallow it? Well, don't do this to me. At least taste it. Oh, it's straight in. Not yet. I didn't. Sort of. You were good. No. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Stop. Stop. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Not as bad as I thought. I chewed it three times, man. There was three. You can watch that back. I think I've over chewed it and now I can't swallow it. Stop chewing. Yeah. Stop chewing. Salty. Very salty. Mm. We could, do you know what it is, though? It's because it's got the fermented garlic in there as well, mm-hmm. which would be salt as well as the sea salt. It might be a little bit over salted. Um, you may have just. Not as bad as I remember. I still haven't swallowed. No, <laughs> no I, I enjoyed that. I could, I could definitely eat them more. Mm. All right, so should we reveal? Yes, to you guys. So we're gonna. I'll cut this in for people so we can. Yes. You hit play with Rebecca Noden from Noden's Coffee. What is the worst thing you've ever eaten? Was probably oysters. I had them recently I last year. I tried them for the first time, and I was in a restaurant, and and I thought, I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try something new. Yeah. And it was so horrible, but because you're in a restaurant, you just have to swallow it. Yeah, and... Down in one. Yeah. See, I'd be like. <laughs> it was so hard, and it was not good. Mm. Um, but my husband Steve, who, as we discussed, eats everything, just ate the whole plate. He loved them, so it was okay. But anything that's got that kind of jelly texture, I can't eat jelly. I can't eat trifle. Yeah. I am, um, which is a shame because I mean jelly doesn't have a great flavour, but I feel like I am missing out on a category of food that jelly deals. Huge texture, yeah, maybe not. Um, or, yeah, I'm trying to think of other jelly things. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's that's the th- I think that's that's the thing. Oh, yep. Between a cheap oyster and a half decent one. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. I tell you what, these were a lot better than the ones that we had in Italy. So that's something Morrison's finest. I'll have you. Is that on camera? Have you got <laughs> great oyster? <laughs> wow, better than Italy. Better than that's it. a good review. <laughs> better than Italy. Smeg Italy. <laughs> Smending. Yeah. I think in my book I actually put um, fennel and parsley on there as well, but kept it simple tonight. Go really well with um, beef and stout to put them in a pie. More oyster. oyster. Yeah. I did the uh, oyster halafas, the oyster loaf, and that's got uh, minced beef in it as well as the oysters. The same kind of idea. And that's fine. I can eat them like that. It was when they're straight after the thing that I'm always a bit... But Yeah, okay. Progress well done, today. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I, I, I like it. Yeah, I like it. You like it? You like, like it. it. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to move into some of the hot foods. Now, some of these are the worst foods. Um, but because they're hot, I'm thinking they'll be better. Well, it's they're hot. One. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Get them with a heart. Cold and sludgy. Yeah. Do you want fries with that? So. <sighs> well, the fuck is that? Pass it down. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's. A spoon. Give it. Get a spoon. Get on a spoon. He's, he's gagging for it. Go on. Get in there. Go on. Any yeah. guesses what it is yet? Brains. Nope. Brains are actually really hard to get. Well, yeah. I Not many of those that. around. <laughs> I um, tripe, maybe. Some... We got a winner. Oh, no. A tripe. Tripe. See, this isn't from one of the yeah. episodes. Someone on Facebook, I think, or possibly Instagram mentioned it. Um, I, can't remember. I think it's Romanian tripe soup. Okay. Cubora de Berta is what it's called. But the way I've done it is other than the orange carrots, this is technically authentic. So wait for it, like a Viking volume three, when there will be <laughs> some tripe. Well, well, we'll see. I'm going to grab a bit of tripe. I'm going in. Oh, we, we've got they they eating spoonfuls, it, aren't they? It actually smells like an omelette. It looks like it looks like scrambled egg as well. Like there are eggs in there. Have you got eggs, Sandy? <laughs> All right, fair enough. Oh, that's okay. it. That's be where I'm getting the omelette. Do you want me to? Oh, there's some of the tripe. 
Look, who wants a big bit of tripe? Come on. No, oh, come on. And good and one little bit of tripe. Actually, that's you know? tripe there. You, that's right. you, you yeah, tripe. Can you pass it back down there? here? Yeah, you need more. You need more. You need more. That's it. That's it. I that's it. honestly think I made a bad version of this because it's split because it's got cream and eggs in at the end and I I split it somehow. Um, but then I figured it's supposed to be the worst. He's already it's going. Oh, he's going he's, for more. He's finishing the bowl off. I guess wow. we need to. Well, yeah, catch up. That's good. Right, rubbery. Oh no. Oh. Hmm. Mm. I'm not a fan of the texture, but it doesn't taste bad at all. That's that's nice. I not. like it. You remember not, what I was saying about jelly texture? It, it's not as good as um, some of the stuff I've had before, I'm but it is this. something that I would definitely eat again. <laughs> no, just swallow, man. Just <laughs> put your fingers over his nose. <laughs> <laughs> He's like trying to finish a school. Di this is horrible. <laughs> It's actually really nice. I like it. No, I like it. Yeah, like Flavour's it. fine. Again, it's like I said with the oysters. Texture for me. I no. can't even chew it. That rubberiness is like... Was that the one you prepared earlier or the one you were just cooking in there? I prepared it this afternoon and reheated it. Oh, I see. Reheated tripe. Mm. Yeah. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's lovely. Based on our conversation earlier, I figured you wouldn't mind it, actually. Take it home to Jen. Yeah. No. So I don't want your dinner, Jen. Do you know what it reminds me of? Eat this tripe. When you get a bit of fat on a bit of pork that's like yeah. not crispy. Yeah, it's just kind of, yeah. yeah. That's why I don't like right. it. I'm getting there. I'm going to swallow. All, otherwise, I won't have room for. Oh, I'll have a bite in the morning. Right, I swallowed. I did it. Well done. Wait, well done. I, I like it. I'm a brave boy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so that one I don't have a video for. As I said, that was someone on Facebook mentioned it. And it was, uh, I was in the butcher and I went, don't you suppose you've got any tripe? <laughs> because to be honest, some of these are a bit too easy. So I thought we'd did, add the Did tripe. the butcher then ask if you were, you know, 80 years old or something? <laughs> <laughs> he said, let me check the freezers out the back. <laughs> <laughs> Get the scrapings off the floor, you know. <laughs> Flavour of that's all right, then. No, it's good. Not bad. Uh, Does taste a bit eggy. Yeah, I mean, I was getting more egg than I was tried, but it, it's still good. It's I definitely sit down and eat that. It's a good choice for the pumpkin beer. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, so Andy, when you were on before, you went through most of the homebrews, I think, from me, like a halfling, but I didn't have this one at the time. So this is the pumpkin ale. Possibly my favourite one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, re-ranking them now. That's it. That's it. Got to redo the whole video now. Man. All right, where should we go next? Oh, let's go for that one. Oh, this will be fun. There's no one ever. Everyone's still got food. Yep. We're good. So, <laughs> <clears throat> oh. oh. I'll tell you, before I pass it down. Yeah, take a spoon, pass it down. Now, the person who told me about this also told me not to do it. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Is that a fair amount? Just do I need to do more? Take as much as you're comfortable. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. And the beer on stand, boy. <sighs> well, well, do you want to know what it is before we start? No. Nope. We're just going for it. No, I don't want to know. I just want to eat it. I reckon flavour-wise, it's going to be all right. It's the idea of it, actually. Hmm, which means I probably should tell you. <laughs> ah. It's quite tomato -y. Well, it's got tomatoes in it. Yep. Hopefully. Cheese, maybe. You hope. Yeah, hope that's cheese. Go on then. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. There's one step missing from this, from what the original person said. Is that I didn't burn it. <laughs> we didn't burn him. Well, that's not nice. But it's not terrible at all. It, it's student food. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, sir. I could explain to you what it is. I'll let the actual person, because there's like some backstory to this one. With my guest from episode 10, Wild Cat. Mm -hmm. What's the worst food that you've ever eaten? Oh, the worst food. Um, well, I'm one of these people that will try anything. And because mm. of my egg position, I have tried all sorts. Um <sighs> Actually, yeah, there is a worse food. Um, so I was on, I think it was the, one of my Amazon expeditions, and um, yeah. 
there were these lovely guys, these, these two guys from Germany, and they were on cooking duty. And a bunch of my expeditions generally breakfast is porridge. Yeah. I never used to be a porridge fan. Burnt porridge, especially, is pretty horrific. Um, but these guys decided to liven up the porridge by making salsa porridge, which was mm. exactly that porridge with salsa, quite a quite a spicy hot salsa mixed in. And funnily enough, they never got on cooking duty again, which was a fantastic gameplay because you had to get up at like four thirty in the morning when we're doing cooking duty. So they probably did it on purpose. I don't know. There's a question mark to the sea, but. Yeah, mm. um, even thinking about it now, and I've got a hardy stomach. No, I'm good. <laughs> so, so, so it's all salsa with porridge. In porridge. Well, I honestly thought there was going to be some really heinous ingredient in there. I was trying one to be other, one other thing in there was um, the pickle juice from gherkins. Was because I messaged her today. Yeah, well, um, and she said there was some. She thinks I don't know. She said for sure. I think she. Have you ever done? Have you ever done a pickle back? Like whisk, shot of whiskey and shot then a whiskey, shot of pickle right. juice. Like a I, I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's like a yeah. It's like a cheeseburger. It's almost a cheeseburger. It's, I, I like it. So I, mean, I, I think... go for a run and then go and then have your pickles, pickle juice afterwards. It really does taste different. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Cat, your German friends can cook salsa porridge for me for breakfast. That'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, that's fine to me. Yeah. Well, that's the other it's... difficulty with what we're doing here. Is that obviously. Oh. Three for three. They're not really that bad. <laughs> so I've had to recreate them though. So we don't know the exact mm. porridge and whether the one that she had was worth. Yes, this is true. Yeah. You got to make it for us sometime. Might change. This is mind. yeah. So it's, right. it's the difficult thing is when you're cooking and you're in the kitchen, it's really hard to make bad food because you go, oh, "I'll add a bit of seasoning." Wait, should I add seasoning to this because it's meant to be bad? So it's. What would you do if one of the people had said it was something from your book? <laughs> Laughed. There are oysters and mussels in my book. Right, it's true, but if they specifically <laughs> specifically name something you cooked on a course or something, you know. This. That one time I had salt dough venison. Is this where you reveal it? Ever. No no one can hate the salt dough venison. Man. No. <laughs> well now you've said it, you're not getting any tomorrow. I'm not here tomorrow, sadly. Sadly. I've only got six haunches. <laughs> All for me. <laughs> Send Dwayne home with a packed lunch for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I still got a bit of salsa on there. I think that was that bad. Um, right, I was say, don't want to judge Cat. Num num. If you're watching that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, um, but I don't know the exact porridge that was eaten, so yeah. benefit of the doubt on that one. And where where did the Germans make it? In you think Brazil? It yeah. It's an expedition. Yeah. Oh, so I think where you got. Mm. They must have been carrying the stuff with them and just chucked it all in a pot. And that'll do. Is it, but see, so when I was making it, I was thinking, well, I'd make porridge with milk. I'm like, but you can't have milk and salsa. So, so I'll go water. water. But then I'm like, but then see, I'm already tweaking the recipe because did they use milk? Is that why it was so horrible? I will make. Do you want me to go make it again? I'm I will. I will make it with <laughs> milk sometime. Just see what it's like. Don't forget the. Pickles. I will do that for you. Um. Right. So we've done that one and that one. Hmm. Well, it's already out, so this one you're going to struggle with this one, guys. Right? No, what, like whatever could it be? No idea. I think it's pheasant. Some kind of lard bird, I reckon. <laughs> Who the hell said this was their worst food? You'll find out in a minute. <laughs> It's just right, well. No, so what have you done to it specifically? If you inject, they did. Me no, they they did mention chicken specifically. Well, we'll eat it first. Find out how bad it is. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I don't want to taint your. Yeah, there's no surprises. It's just chicken. It's meat on a bone is the problem. Mm. Really? Mm. Okay. Meat on the bone. Um, but chicken was actually mentioned, so that's why I went for the chicken. Mm. But fair enough. Anything on a bone. Well, I guess I could see that. People might be a bit... I'm struggling, I've got to say. <clears throat> yeah. Freaked out, I guess. I think I can just but... about get through this one, guys. <laughs> he made this one up. It's not even on there. It's just so we could have something nice in between. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to break it down. <laughs> I'm actually quite hungry. Um, all right, so... There's some porridge there. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I'm saving that for later. Don't you oh, get in it. That's for breakfast. <laughs> you know when we did the the booze one and we had to mix them all together at the end. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Salsary porridgey tripe with chicken and oysters. <laughs> I don't have any more oysters, but... Hmm. Do you know what? There is another one that I might... We could wrap this into another one as well. Because I think one of the other ones goes well with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how are you guys? My chicken. <laughs> Worst food ever. Um, no, no. One of the best foods ever is chicken drumsticks. Mm. Would you like to know who? Yeah, who yeah go on. Um, I'm back with the rookery. Meadery, what's the worst food you've ever eaten? I have a sort of phobia is far too strong a word, but an issue with meat on the bone. I can eat meat off the bone if I have a moment to prepare. And it's something when I order food, I'm a little bit careful. So if it's a chicken thing, can I, mm. is it chicken leg or chicken breast? I need to check. Um, so meat and the bone is something I have difficulty with. Not the type of man to rock up to the KFC then. No. <laughs> but yeah, I, it was um, really great. It's actually the longest podcast that I've recorded to date, and I hardly said anything. Like, the man's a star. Like, his knowledge about mead and flavours and history... Good hour and a half. He was kind enough to send me some mead and stuff. Well. Some mead, you told me about that. I literally sat down at home and he basically did like a taster session, one on one over over Zoom. Um, great stuff. Really good mead as well. If you ever oh. want to send me some mead to do a taster session over Zoom, I'll also happily do this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the thing, and it, you know, I think when you put people on the spot and they don't know the questions coming as well. Mm -hmm. Whether that would then change the answer. If you go, actually, that's probably not. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> it's a thing. Okay, so four for four at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this. <laughs> oh, good. I feel there's a uh, a pitfall coming. Three, four, five. We've got six left and one of them's a drink. Has everyone got stuff in their cup at the moment? Yeah. What like, are we doing? Like, actually, cups over there. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, I'm not doing what he did. <laughs> <laughs> no. This next one's kind of awkward. Okay. Do you have to get out of the boot? <laughs> Should we? If you want. That sounds awkward. <laughs> no, it's um. I don't know any of these knows about this one. It's, it's way. Do you remember when I said I needed the toilet whilst I cooked the oysters? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's worse actually. No, Greg, you need to drink. <laughs> I know what this is, and I know who it right. is as well, so I'm not going to say. Yeah, so we won't reveal, I guess, what it is until afterwards. Yes. But I do have some things to say about it, but we'll... I don't know. I won't give you loads. Cause... There's a reason why I won't give you loads. So it smells all right. There's something wrong with your nose. <laughs> like, three bouts of COVID, probably. <laughs> Honestly, don't know if this will make you sick, so make your own choice yeah. if you want to drink it or not. It's the weekend, as long as I'm better in I've a couple sipped of days. it before, it's, I'm still here. But Cheers, guys. Skull. Oh. Skull. I'm literally going Oh, no, it. I know what you meant. Oof. Oh. You do that whiny thing where you... La, 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 la. What it like. No, you can keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> fuck it. So oh, this is no, that's, this. That's not. Yeah. This is the nearest I could get. Um, I guess. Well, shall we let the person explain? I know Andy knows already. Yes. Time. Go on. I blame you for this. This is the worst one yet. I'm back with Patrick Robinson from episode nine. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? So, who's the tricky one? I'm going to answer with drink because I have a okay. I have an answer for that. So, yeah. Back in lockdown, I attempted to brew my own mead. It all went... See where this is going. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this yeah. a lot. I've heard this yeah. a lot, I'm sure. A lot of people have attempted to make mead. You think it's very simple. And I think I must... I don't know where I went wrong. But it at, at one stage, it was tasting perfect. And then I, I came back to it probably about a month later, opened it up, mm. and it was the worst thing. Even the smell, I could tell that immediately something had gone wrong. And I don't know if it was some kind of... 
infection. I'm sure Craig mm. will tell me more on this, but it was so unbelievably horrible. It's hard to describe the flavour. Sort yeah. of like some leaves, like a sort of. It was a very kind of the bitter. I reckon a mould, some kind yeah. of mould infection. I reckon mold. Mold. if it's an earthy, yeah, yeah, that kind yeah. of earthy table, like like when you taste bread that's gone off, like that kind of like weird kind of barky earthy taste, mm. really, very very unpleasant. And I went outside, and even throwing it away was a horrible experience because it smelled terrible. <laughs> even pouring it mm. down the sink was horrible. Yeah. And in fact, I couldn't, I didn't, I had two cartons of it and this happened to both of them independently. Yeah. Um, I poured them, I poured one away inside and I thought, no, it's yeah. too bad to pour it away outside. So I poured the rest of it away outside. But I've not ever attempted mead again since then. So obviously I didn't give you mouldy mead. No. Uh, but that was nasty. Patrick, you've got to clean your bottles, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of disinfectant? <laughs> so Can't let your dog clean the bottles for you, you know. It's... Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. So this one, it is something that I've bought in a shop. It is genuinely a commercial available mead, and I think it's off. Yeah. I think you guys probably agree by the looks of it. Was, if it wasn't drinking. off, it was... <laughs> Which is why I've put it in a jug. I'm not going to name names. Um, off camera, obviously. You guys know. Yeah, well, we know. <laughs> yeah. You've seen the bottle. Um, and you know. Yeah. And so, so it's the nearest <laughs> thing I can get to what Patrick's saying, and I don't think it's probably as bad as what he's saying, but even that was bad enough to yeah. go, nope. Um, I don't know, I can't, We, me and Emma tried it when we first bought it, and instantly it's the same thing, went, no, I'm not drinking that. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, is it like, I was talking to another, again, I'm not going to name check anyone, I spoke to another mead producer about it, um, they're familiar with the brand, they think maybe it was like a mousy taste. Ooh. Which is like, there are certain reasons that these things can go off. Oh, good. Um, so I think this is <laughs> offered a different way to Patrick's. Right. Um, there's, yeah, there's is like a bitterness to it almost, you know? Like crap beer, I don't know. It's If you ferment low enough, they kind of go bitter anyway. So I don't even think... Yeah, yeah, maybe some yeah, dusty mm. <laughs> sort of, I don't know. And it's the only bottle of that I've ever tried, so I don't know if that's their mead in general. I'd to be, I wouldn't waste my money on another one. After uh, I try a pair of, I did not expect mead to be the worst one that <laughs> so far, you know. <laughs> Back on the beer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Stick with the beer. That's a good idea. It just goes to prove a little bit, really, doesn't it? That uh, bad food done right is actually nice, and good food done bad is horrible. Mm. I'm going to get that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Can you get a picture of Dwayne's face on there as well, like, you know, explaining it? Sure. We can all get them. Yes. <laughs> it's yeah, the like Bad Food Club. The Bad Food Club. <laughs> this is like the initiation, you know. <laughs> well, so, on my Instagram and Facebook, the suggestions that people made were worse than the things we've got to eat today, to be honest. Um, things like... Um, Pickled sheep's testicles, fermented, uh, I think it was Norwegian trout. It's supposed to taste yeah. like tyres. Um, that's too close to my worst one. I, I always question that. It tastes like tyres. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you just get a tyre. That you was know, the last how? episode, you know. It's yeah, like, I, was, I missed that. You missed I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty glad that some of the more exotic things don't come out, like um, a thousand year eggs, for example. They're pretty horrible. <laughs> Um, some gaming friends of mine on Discord were talking about um, the uh, Icelandic shark, like the, uh, uh, the with the really high. Hold that for I me. Mean... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, oh no! I have. It's been. like really high in ammonia. It's like you know, someone's yeah. like, it's, it's... "Yeah, I think I've heard of that." Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> what happens to shark? It's so not stuff great. farming. No, it's um, the other one. Very, very quickly, the other one that someone mentioned was uh, banana on pizza with a pineapple ring in the middle. Uh, yeah, whatever. You just to, to, to be burnt at the steak. What? I mean, bananas are pretty ranky yeah. to begin with. That's about it, to be honest. Wash your mouth out. And say, well, bananas are awesome. Quite nice. With custard, especially. Um, and custard. Not a fan of bananas. Like, dipped in salsa porridge. What I was saying, burnt at the steak was. Now, now if, if, you, if you change the banana out for a plantain, 
a bit all over it. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. So where are we going from here? Yep. I did say I wasn't going to choose, didn't I? So let's go for the end one. It's a bad one, guys. It's green. I don't like it. You see, I'm down with this. I hate this stuff. Oh, I probably shouldn't have banged that down on the microphone. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just, all the so, I'm going to have a smaller one. <laughs> oh, Just... really? <clears throat> okay, so my food spoon. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, you've uh, confused the uh, food my food eats. <laughs> the famous Ron Swanson. Uh Any guesses what it is, guys? Uh, it's celery. It's uh, rabbit food. You're good. Wow. And I think I know who uh, ah. suggested it as well. <laughs> Actually, I like celery. I must admit, I like celery, especially with peanut butter. Mm. What, peanut butter? Mm. When I was a kid, I hated celery. But all my cousins used to eat it with peanut butter, just out of the jar. Like, mm. I just do it with salt, didn't they? A bit of salt on it. Never heard. They slightly salty. Mm. Me, yeah. Must have been the way it was washed. I know, I know the I know the juice is kind of um, toxic and actually photo does something in the sun, burns you. Does it? Yeah. Oh, so it must be related to hogweed. Mm. Yeah. And giant hogweed, they're all the same family then. Which actually, if you look at the profile of hogweed, it's basically the same as celery. As is... Uh... Angelica's got a very similar... Because I remember uh, where I used to work at um, Celtic Harmony, there was a um, herb garden there. Mm. And um, whenever you'd break the Angelica, you get the celery smell. It was bloody horrible. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Celery. Celery! That's not a fan of that one. Uh -oh. Do not like celery. Now, interestingly, you said, you know who said this. Yeah. And I don't think you do. Oh, oh really? So who do you think said this? I, I think it's, um, uh, it's going to be Jen, Jen the Dracos dot here. And Jen's not answered this because it's back in episode two when you uh, were on. okay. Also, yeah. you were in the room at the time. <laughs> oh, that is true. <laughs> and not many of you not watch your wife, sir. <laughs> Listen, why for the purpose of this? Not only have you not watched your partner's, uh, he was in the room, but you were not the room at the time. Yeah, but I was, I was too busy eating. That, that is fair. That is fair. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Well, fruit pick. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? The worst food I continually hate, and it's pathetic. I do know this is celery. So I hate eating celery. I hate seeing celery. And it's pathetic, and I have no defence of the fact that I hate it. If I see it in a in a uh, a beef stew, even though I yeah. can't taste it in the beef stew, it affects how I think about it. I cannot defend that; it is ridiculous. So that's celery. Do I, don't I, don't <laughs> I love how we phrase that and go you know, fruit pick. I'm, I'm with you. You know, it's it's, horrible. <laughs> it's uh, but yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I love I love the passion he spoke about that with, you know. Yeah, so they, they make really good real blood black pudding. They're the only company I think I don't know if it's in the world, definitely in the UK, um, that do it without the dried stuff. Where are they based? Or am I you testing my knowledge? <laughs> I should know this. I'll um, just say online. I'll, 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 they're they're based in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> uh somewhere on planet Earth. Um oh. One of those. Yeah. yeah. And they make haggises and stuff as well. But I, I can't remember the numbers, but like the amount of haggis they sell yearly in the UK alone is staggering. Like, I didn't realize so many people at haggis. It's good. So my mate uh, Lex calls it improved sausage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should check theirs out because it is genuinely good. Stuff. No, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Right then. I've got a little bit of beer left. I'm wondering whether this is going to have to be like done in one for the next one. I don't know. <laughs> Four left. Four left. All right. All right. Unless you want to revisit any. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. No, it's got cold. Well, it's got cold. We can try the tripe. We need it. You don't need an cold tripe. Do you know what? I think we're going to end on a good one. <clears throat> okay. Because I'm doing them in the order that they're put, and they are in a random order. Um, oh, curry. <laughs> so I found up the local takeaway. <laughs> yes. I made this this afternoon. What is that? I couldn't even find a recipe for this, so I've had to look at other similar things and make it up. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm <clears throat> not sure if it'll be bad or not. It doesn't sound great. You know that... Uh, it looks like 
It's like Shrek Swamp. No, I'm thinking of like the stuff coming out of Linda Blair's mouth in The Exorcist. You know? Right. I mean, I've gone for that much, so it's not a huge... Oh, he's going for a bigger bit. Trying to one-up me. Always. Like a very uh, farty smell. It is, isn't it? Mm. Well, farty, do you think? Farty? A bit farty, yes. You're getting fart. If one's a bone of yeah. fart, yes. It's very green. Yes. Very like green, strong, very farty. Very strong, like spinach. Broccoli. Broccoli, yeah. Uh, okay, kind of a broccoli sort of thing. Brown on All it, right, maybe. we've nailed it with the broccoli. We've got broccoli in it, okay. It is broccoli, something. All right, let's she? just go for it, shall we? I yeah, uh, yeah go for it. <laughs> I don't know. I tweeted and I thought it was going to mm. be, and I made it. Not a fan, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Go on, get in there, son. I'm going for more. It's not terrible. Now, again, so we're going to have the same problem here, is that I don't know what the original person ate. I don't have that recipe. It's like broccoli mousse or something. Mm. Broccoli mousse. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'll tell you what. Put a little bit of garlic in that. Right? That'd be very really nice. Yeah. I was thinking more like mash. It's a broccoli mousse. It's actually, yeah, it's sweeter than I thought it was going to be. That's, I, I, actually, yeah, that's growing on me. It's like confusing. It? Yeah. <laughs> Questioning everything it, now. Yeah. Uh, or he's loving it. You put on, <laughs> put it, put it on. Tell you what, it would do if, if you. If you get some toast, put it on the toast like you do smashed avocado. Oh, that would be amazing. Good. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some like, or like yeah, hot you need to, butter, uh, something else hanging, in you know, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That, but that is... I better write the recipe down, because I've yeah. made it up. <laughs> Dude, get it in it's there. In get here. it in the next book. It doesn't exist anywhere. I couldn't find... Honestly, I googled this. I could not find broccoli mousse. Is there anything found... else is in there? Is it just broccoli or...? Uh, so it's... It's basically, what you do is you make a custard. So you do cream and milk. Yeah. You heat them up. Um, and then you drop in egg yolks. And then you heat it slowly to make a custard. I don't know if you've ever made custard. Well, you know, it's it's There's a bit of sugar in with the eggs as well, actually. Whisk up first. You drop that in, whisk it up, and you have to whisk for like 10 minutes. Until it goes thick. Then you drop in some gelatin leaf, which obviously thickens it. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, I'd pre boiled the broccoli. So I put the broccoli into a food processor with all of that, blended it up and put it in the fridge. See, I don't like broccoli, but that's, that's you know... It's how to get your kids to eat their vegetables. <laughs> Shock a bunch of cream and sugar. I was going to say. <laughs> I probably should have told you who was on at the beginning so that you could guess who was, but um, we're beyond that now, aren't we? Should we start again, guys? <laughs> yep. Repeat. Heat that tripe up. Yeah, get the I'll oyster on. Got my special guest with me, Caroline Nikolai. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? I don't have good memories of bad food. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Well, that was a kid, so kid taste between modern That's day... Fine. If it's the worst taste. from your memory, what's the worst thing the you've ever eaten? The worst food I have ever tasted was super 70s style in a, in a posh, posh, sorry, in a posh hotel restaurant for somebody in my family's... Um, like 80th birthday or something like that. And there was about that size, mm. that shape on the plate for each guest, green, bright green sort of mound, a bit like a jelly, yeah. like a jello shot of something. It was broccoli mousse. Oh. I want to use the word rank, but <laughs> that was bad. Oh, mm. because... I was a kid, but it wasn't seasoned. It genuinely was the worst broccoli flavor you can imagine and the worst broccoli texture as a mousse mm. on a plate. So again, how do you make bad food? It's really difficult because I've made something that someone says is the worst. Well, so, um, yeah, that's, you know, I don't know. Have you not read any 70s cookbooks where they put absolutely everything in that spec generally? Yeah. <laughs> Try making some of those. I think you'll find some bad ones. It's, um... But that one was actually quite nice. Mm. I'd, I'd have that again. I'll tell you what, she's working here on Monday. I thought she's here tomorrow. Oh, no, she, I don't know. No, Sunday. Maybe Sunday. She's doing yeah. a pig. Mm -hmm. It's on your website. I know it is, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sunday. I'm going to see her on Monday. Oh, okay. um, yeah. 
But uh, you want to keep it? I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> say I won't tell her, and just bring it out for at lunchtime. You could like video it and see whether she says actually that's not as bad as I remember, or it's better <laughs> than the one I had. I'll send it to you. I'll video it, <laughs> and I'll get. Some I don't know. I guess it will keep till Monday. It's cream milk. We'll stick it in the fridge. fridge. It'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, Maybe if it goes off a bit, it will taste more like the one she had when she was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I mean, she preempted and said, "This is as a kid." She struggled to find an answer, so you can forgive that. Yeah. Like as a kid, there's no way I would have touched that. It was green. Yeah, <laughs> Sod that. <clears throat> All right then. Well, that's a sale for right. So there's there's three left. One of them is fine. The other two. Mm. Mm. Steve knows what one of them is. You can probably guess what the other one is. It's had to be double bagged because of the smell. Oh no! Someone might have brought it up earlier, Andy. <laughs> oh, what was it? Was it fermented? I mean, if you you can smell it through the bag. Oh god! It comes through the bag. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst I smell. Did anyone watch the video I did in York with Terry, the Science Viking? No, no, not yet. Okay. I won't tell you what That's happened. a fantastic name, though. <laughs> Have you not heard of Terry the Science? I, I've heard of him, but I'm just reiterating that. Yeah. He's a fantastic name. He's up at uh, Imp in Cumbria, and he does a lot of stuff at Moorforge, like school visits and things. Um, yeah, science and stuff. Based around any... the Vikings. Have you got any of your beer left? I might have to have any. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're not much left. Is... Well, no, no, no. It's yours. I've got more. Need a bit... Do you want another? I might need a bit more to chase this down. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> nope. I ate Thank this you. with Terry. People will have seen that already. I then ate it with Daniel Farrand from the Nordic Mythology podcast. You keep going back for more. Why? Um, and not only that, I think we ate it three times in that episode. In different, you know, I will have another one. Then it was like he made some butter and a flatbread. So he's like, well, maybe we need to make like a sandwich. with. So we did that. And actually, at, at that point, I'm like, ah, it's fine. Yeah, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> a little bit. You, One, you want it with some mousse? Put it in a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> some mousse Everything is better see, in I'm, a sandwich. I'm not really... I'm not You're going to like this. It. Yeah, I think I will. Because you mentioned Welks, I believe, on the yeah. on the podcast. Oh, and then, oh the smell of it. That is him. what Terry compared it to Welks. Right, I think I'll be fine then. So I think you'll be fine. Um, I'm going to be brave and go for one of the bigger pieces. Oh, there's a really big one over there. Oh, he's going for it too. Oh, oh he's going for a spoonful. <laughs> oh, wow. Got a one. Right, I'm not going to be a worse. I'm going to go for it. Before you bite this, this cost me about £40 to import from Iceland. So not cheap. Um, and you need to keep it in your mouth for a while. No straight swallowing, right, guys? Let okay. it build. It's like... Oh, that's particularly chewy. A bit. It's actually hard. That's different to the one I had before. Mm. And now I found the longer I kept it in my mouth, it starts to build a heat like a chili on your tongue. That's powerful, man. Mm. You could swallow if you like. No, no, I'm going to go for the distance. The fact the longer I kept it in, it just kind of gets hotter. It's kind of peppery almost. For some it reason. Reminds I... me of... It reminds me a lot of blue cheese. Yeah, like mm. that powerful. Still bit. Pluckers. Have you got chewy bits? Like the other yeah. bits I had weren't hard. This has got a hard bit. Yeah, it's like, it's like really? gristle almost. Yeah. Well, the bits I had just almost melt in your mouth. It was pretty good. Yeah, that's so. That's what I had previously. But this one, I can't even bite it like it. Okay. So yeah, you. It must be like a skin yeah. on there or something. Oh. I get salt too. Now, Terry said it's not salty. I get a little bit of salt there. That's to me, it's very good. salty. Yes. <laughs> it's... I do get a little bit of the ammonia, ammonia with it too, which isn't exactly pleasant. As I said, my friends um, were calling it piss shark. So it's... Yeah. <laughs> um, that's, I've got to say, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting something much worse than that. I've also had this in Iceland, actually, so on top of the ones last week. So I've, this How does is it like, compare? 
they say. But they, they give you a chaser of the Icelandic They, they give you Brennavin to go with it. Yeah. I, I did actually look at, um, at oh. see if I could find any Brennavin. Uh, and the answer is no, because you have to import it. Hmm. That's um, the problem with this, is the um, chipping. The actual item itself isn't. Mm. I think I paid more for shipping than the actual shark. And I think um, the brother that they give you with I'm that. Good. I'm good. You good? I'm good. I'm good. I mean, to be honest, like, go for it just in the knowledge that you're eating, like, five quids worth of stuff on a spoonful or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a five <laughs> I think the thing with the Brennavin which goes with it though is like it's it's, like it's, it's, it's 50 odd percent it. proof that, that'll that that'll take the sting off it wouldn't it you're right though the emo it's like blue cheese isn't it that sort of that, yeah. that feeling behind the nose isn't it I've drank beer and it seems to have almost built it more yeah I've just I've just noticed that it was <laughs> there are some times you realise you've made a mistake I mean it's not <laughs> something I would pay 40 quid for <clears throat> But I'm glad I tried well, it. I wouldn't again, but, you know, needs must, podcast, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've got three episodes out of this. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, still some left. <laughs> I'm here with Lars Marius. What's again? the worst food you've ever eaten? Oh, uh, I guess it must be, uh, oh, Karm, the, uh, the Icelandic uh, Greenland shark that's, uh, that's dried. Yeah. I fermented and dried. Yeah, yeah that was... Uh, I ate it basically because I'd heard about it and I decided, mm. okay, I have to try it. So after a lot of searching, we found it in a supermarket, like a little plastic box mm. uh, with these cubes of shark meat. And I took, a, yeah. you know, after breakfast, I took a toothpick and, and, um, and I ate one. And uh, we have a photo of this because my daughter was standing, you know, just behind me, mm. hold, holding her nose. And she's like... <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely a fantastic shot. Uh, mm. But I mean, I, yeah, I hated it. I, I felt sick all the rest of that day. The, the first thing I did after I ate that, that cube was I went and I brushed my teeth three times to get rid of the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was nice. I, I talked to a guy yeah. who, who had eaten it. He was. Uh, I forget where it was. And he said he threw up the f the first two times that he ate it, and then the third time that he ate it, it was on a bet, and then uh, he actually liked it. Uh, so, so now he eats it once a year, and and I have to say, um, I mean, the 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 ammonia and the fermented fish smell and all that stuff is 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 really really awful, uh, mm. but the the texture was really nice. Uh, I I remember I, I was thinking about this texture for several days afterwards that, that it was it was uh, well that was that was a nice part let's put it that way yeah fish I don't think I'd uh, I'd buy it yeah <laughs> yeah I mean yeah if it was offered to me I'd eat it but yeah. it's not something I'm going to rush out and buy yeah I watched this fascinating um, documentary that's uh, about sort of people living in harsh conditions i think john hurt narrated it yeah and one of the ones was in the arctic circle and you had this um guy from greenland going out and uh hunting on the ice with his packs of dogs and then the first thing they did he had like a little shack with a sled essentially they slept in he and his son and the first thing they did was they'd go and fish for a big um greenland shark mm. that they'd chop up they wouldn't eat it themselves they might take some back but most of that you fed to their dogs so they'd cut off the shark and take it with them, and that would be their dog food for this. It's entire actually hunting. poisonous yeah. until you ferment yeah. it. Yeah. So it's interesting that he fed it to the dogs. Yeah, they might have fermented it on the way, or maybe dogs have a higher. I think it takes years to home. It does. I think it's months. I think it's months, isn't it? Um, but either way, yeah, maybe no. it's not so, poisonous. Seven, seven to eight months. Seven plus months. Or and maybe it's illegal to catch them now, so they 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 get them from bycatch. Um, and I think there is call now for them to even ban them. So, oh wow! So I'm glad I tried it at least before it it's could, uh, could become impossible mm. to get at some um, point. You know, they all they're all blind. I think they're all um, they they're born being able to see, but they all, they get these. Well, Icelandic uh, people. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Greenland sharks, man. <laughs> um, and uh, they get these parasites in their eyes, and they can't. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's true. I noticed, that I, <laughs> I noticed that I slandered Scope Line because of Brad Brennan, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> They're not fermenting it long enough. Mm. Well, something worse than the shark. I think you're giving a very funny look there. And I'm, so Steve knows what this is. I've deliberately removed the label. You'll probably work it out, to be honest. But I'm, yeah, this is one of the things I said I'm not sure about eating tonight. A tin. I don't think I can get the tea well, for it. Well, as, as long as it's not like whiskers, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it is, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not... Roast chicken in a tin. <laughs> Now, I did email the company involved, and they haven't got back to me yet, about whether this is safe for human consumption. So, genuinely, ah! you go, no. <laughs> oh, my God. If if you don't want to... I'm down. Then don't. Um, I've checked the ingredients. To be honest, it's like animal derivatives and stuff. Like I don't think there's anything in there that's bad. I've even Googled it, and that seems to be a more global thing, is that they add vitamin K which in large quantities is bad for people. But I couldn't see any in any of the food in the shop. Um, yeah. My uncle used to eat this stuff just to gross my mum out. Like, he'd be feeding his pets and then just, like, eat some like, nom, nom, nom. And just... <laughs> it doesn't actually look that bad, you know? No. It's the jelly, man. It's the jelly. It's the, the, jelly. I will, the only thing I'll say before we reveal who said it is it was a teaspoonful. So to be fair to the person, I think we will take about a teaspoon. Three chews. Three chews. Cat chews. Cat chews. This is dog, isn't it? This is this cat, it's dog food. It's dog food. You got it. Yeah. It's dog food. It's. Do you know what? We're not going to mention. You're bowing out. <laughs> <He's> bowing out. <laughs> we're not. We're not going to mention the brand name. Or it, it, it rhymes with. Dead agree, pump. <laughs> <laughs> they're oh, not liable. Yeah. yeah, I should probably do You know, cover um, our houses. They're not yeah. liable. But to be fair, have it with gravy. It's fine. Oh, um, so you've had this, this experience? I, I have had it before. Yes. Quick, uh, knock up some gravy. Broccoli mousse, anyone? <laughs> no. Meat no. and gravy. <laughs> no. We keep talking to put this off, don't we? <laughs> we do. He's done it before. Yeah. So it's only me and Andy that haven't done this. No. Ah. Oh, it's got lumps. Mm. It's got like gristly bits. <laughs> well, it <does. laughs> it's the derivatives. Yeah, it's your spray, mate. It's more the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> it's more the knowledge of what it is than uh, than than the actual food. I think it actually lacks flavour. Don't. It lacks it lacks flavour. It tastes like it smells, yeah. but actually it doesn't See, taste as much. This is what you give your pets. No, to be to be fair, the, the, there are there are dog foods which taste worse, and actually the dog foods which taste worse actually has the tripe in it. <laughs> How much dog food have you eaten? But not eaten that one. <laughs> so, genuinely, took me about ten minutes in the supermarket thinking, which one are we going to eat? Because I'm going to have to eat this, so I need to pick a good one. And so you've got these that are like wild venison. And, and all the ingredients look like high quality. Like, yeah. But that's clearly not the point. No. Yeah. No. So I went for the... the, the oh, sorry, sort of. Something that said derivatives on the tin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, so, it's, not, it's not going to kill you. I've got some pate. Oh, well, thanks for telling us that. <laughs> I've got some pate at home that I really don't think I'm going to be able to eat now. For one <laughs> so. Yeah, who am I blaming for this? Come on. In fact, with Daniel Farron. Yeah. So what's the worst food you've ever eaten? Worst. And you told me that you're putting together something where you're going to have to eat this, so I feel very Next safe. Week. Next week. If I've got time. Okay. Depends what it is. <laughs> so at, at college, we we did like a charity food thing mm. where me and a friend of mine got put in like a glass box and people could pay for us to eat stuff okay. or like do stuff for the day. Um, Not sure I like where this is going. I was dressed as Scooby-Doo. Okay, as you do. It was a dog. 
So can you guess what I had to eat? Dog food? Mm-hmm. From a can or biscuit? Wet dog food oh. from a can. Oh. Which is the worst thing I've eaten. Uh, I did say you didn't like it. Yeah, we'll delete this one. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so it was just like a, it wasn't a lot, it was like yeah. a little teaspoon and like. That's a good answer though. <laughs> when, I, when I had time to think about it, I was like, I know I've had something. So yeah, oh. enjoy that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We love I was going to come and listen to your podcast and tell that. That's my problem. For a start, Scooby Doo eats massive sandwiches. I've seen it. He doesn't eat something. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, Dan's Scooby contribution to my podcast. And uh, as I say, it was a great sport on the episode. So I'll forgive him. But uh, to, to be fair, if I suppose we should rank these at the end. Well, yeah, I probably. don't think that was the worst thing we've had tonight. It's on par for me. Yeah? It's on par. No, def definitely, 100%. I'd eat any one of those things again. <laughs> it's definitely not yeah. something I'm going to put into my body ever again. I was going to say, it's not one of the first things you've eaten tonight, is it? Because you didn't eat it. <laughs> well, I, as I said, I've had it in the past and I'm not. No, I, was... I knew exactly what it was as soon as on the spoon. Am I, am I so Actually, you've eaten it before. Yeah. And you ate it again. Yeah. Jeez. That was and he would. Yeah. He has to fight his dog every night. <laughs> he wants some food. <laughs> one for you, it's one genuine. for me, one for you, one for me. Genuinely bland, I think. I'm, it was I'm bland. Actually, it was quite bland. Yeah. And so, sorry. It was almost leathery. <laughs> Whatever we're calling it. Leathery plum. You know, you know yeah. dogs have got plum. much like, more powerful sense of smell than we have in much sort of. Yeah, they have to, wouldn't they? Yeah. That, yeah. I was going to say, maybe that tastes amazing to them. You know, <laughs> we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but yeah, it's, it's pretty bland. It's... I think my dog licks her own ass, so I'm sure dog food tastes. Do you do that as well? Perfect. I try. <laughs> I, was say, just, yours. I can't. Well, no, not that. <laughs> I, hope well, you well, get, <laughs> I hope you get a few ribs removed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have tried. It kind of reminds me of. Um, you guys know Jack Poe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an old Jeffro joke about a guy in a pub sort of watching a dog knock his balls, and he sort of turns around and says, "Oh, I wish I could do that." And he says, "If you give him a biscuit, he'll probably let you." <laughs> 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 uh, well, that is the worst of them gone. Because unless anyone's got a peanut allergy, then you're fine now, guys. I mean, you're over the hump. <sighs> Some dog food on my spoon. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I won't tell you what it is. We'll um, do the guess. Yes, I guess. I guess we'll guess. Oh, that's actually set. I was going to say that's set. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to do that. I made this myself this afternoon. Look, I'll even I'll even take a big bit. There's, there's nothing. Well, else. it's gonna you're gonna have to take a big bit to take the. Marabone the... jelly off the end of yeah. your spoon. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's also what she said. Is there something more sugary than um, than the peanut butter in there? Is there something more? Sugary? There is peanut butter. There is sugar. There is soy sauce. There is curry powder, and there is coconut milk. It is satay. satay. Yeah, satay sauce. Oh. Now the person did specify that it wasn't quite a satay sauce. So this is probably wrong again, but this is the nearest I can do. It's basically a peanut sauce. Set peanut sauce. Which so as long as you don't peanut have a nut allergy, eat your head, guys. Uh, it's chatai. I mean, mm -hmm. I've never made chatai. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've done mm -hmm. it. Which is what I was saying earlier. Was one good. of the things would go with one of the others is a singing chicken. Mm -hmm. Put that on the chicken. I'm a little bit more of that. Not at all to take the taste of previous things out of my mouth. <laughs> I said that's a coincidence. We've ended on a high mm. because Thank you. Well, it's really like fatty though, isn't it? Mm. Creamy. Ooh. Yeah. That kind that's of neutralizes good. everything. Mm. That's good. That's really good. Uh, just making sure I haven't missed anything. No, we're good. Now a dirty bowl with all of it. <laughs> Genuinely or no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> We never know. So, what's the hot sauce then? I brought the hot sauce along just for fun because I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I thought, if I'm going to eat chicken and stuff, then I'll spice up the dog food with it. Yeah. Well, people have people have Tabasco with the oysters, so I almost yeah. thought that. 
putting a bit of hot sauce on there. Um, yeah, I mean, they're not... Like, hot spots or anything? I think they want to. They're local to me. That's my favourite of their sauces. I put it on my eggs in the morning. Nice. It's not massively hot. It's hot, but okay. it's not their hottest. Yeah, I um, mean... It's quite sweet, gingery. Um, yeah. A bit of scotch bonnet in that, maybe. It's got a bit of heat to it. There's a, it's, it's, you ever been to the local chili um, festival down here? Nope. It's Wimborne or something, yeah. Oh, it's chili. actually out, out near... Um, oh... Stominster St. Newton now. Okay. Uh, it used to be uh, in um, Wimborne St Giles, mm. but they moved it out to um, <coughs> Stominster Newton, not too far where they from where they do the cheese festival. Nice. And am I right in thinking the chili festival is often on the same weekend as our Viking weekend here? Yes. And right, so we'll cut this bit and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come to the Viking festival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the chili festival. Mm. <laughs> I think there's one in Swindon as well, isn't there? Over sort of more your age. Yeah, we're at a Bassett. chili and cheese festival in Bassett. I've never been, but um, I would imagine there'll if be. If you get the opportunity to go to the Sturminster Cheese Festival, do so because it's cheeses from all over the country and there's like three massive marquees full of cheese. And. You can help yourself to as much cheese as you like. Nice. Can I do a cheese coma? Yes. <laughs> the best of comas. <laughs> well, that's, that's, yeah, that's all of the food, guys. Um, just wondering whether, should we finish on something nice? Mm. Yes. yes. Let's do it. Ginger or Heather? What are you talking about? You want some more dog Ginger. food? Ginger. Ginger or Heather? Ooh. Ginger, I think. They're both quite dry. I like ginger. I like Heather, but yeah, I'm going to think of ginger. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, if you like, we'll have a little glass, and um, I can ask you the other two questions that I ask on the bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. And you can all... Right. Anyone for seconds of anything? No. More dog food? I'll have some more dog food. Dwayne! <laughs> no! A bit of salsa porridge? Oh, were we gonna we were gonna rank them too, right? <laughs> All right, yeah, we yeah. could rank them. Should we do that first then? Yeah. Um, I can. I'm gonna forget what's here, right? So we've I can got certify that the dog food was indeed ranked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably chicken, salsa. We don't have any evidence of the oyster, do we? Oh, we got we have the shells. I'm gonna keep the shells. I'm gonna use them for my displays in here. Love eating oysters. Uh, we've got some shark. We've got some oyster. We've got a dead out just as a representative. Is that anything? Oh, mead. Bad mead. Okay. We're going to drink good mead. Or else we talk about bad mead. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. I don't want anyone to think that the bad mead was mine. This genuinely I will. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, not piss either. <laughs> Might as well be. Is that everything? I don't know how many we had now. Eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about, right? I, think, I think that's it, isn't it? Got to be about. Um, because okay. you've yeah. got the moose. So nine. We had ten. Yeah, I thought we had ten. We had oh. ten, don't we? What was missing? Let me check my list. Eat. <laughs> what was in the bowl? We got the shark broth. Oh, it was celery. 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 Mm. Yes, of course. Okay, so we've eaten the celery. Just leave the bowl out, the empty bowl out. Yeah, that's evidence. a representation. Or celery. Are we going to do like a group decision on what's the best and then go through to <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We can okay. vote and rank down, can we? So what do we enjoy the most? The satay. The satay. Definitely. Probably the satay. I can go with that. I'm fine with that. I was going to say chicken. It was between satay and chicken, but it feels right. really boring if we say chicken. So we're good. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, okay. And then, of course, you've got to have the satay with the chicken. So, so chicken next. So chicken is second. Um, oysters are a good starter for the satay chicken. Yep. Or pan fried in in a thing. In a thing. In a thing. thing. Yeah, yeah like a stir fry thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so should we say oysters third? Yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go moose before. Yeah, I'm going to say moose. Okay, go moose. 
Right, before we end, I'm going to do this, because I'm sure no one's going to disagree with me. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I don't know. The dog foods. <laughs> All right, we'll get there. That can go there now. So, the, oyster. Oyster. Do you know what? I'm going to agree, and I said I didn't like oysters. Yeah. So that's Those actually a oysters. big, big good. jump. Those were yeah. good. Yeah, oh, hang on, no, because we haven't done celery yet. Okay, celery. Oh, okay. Like, so... I enjoyed... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put celery way down for me, personally, because I yeah. hate celery. Okay. Celery is boring. It's easy mid-pack. The, I prefer yeah. the oyster over the celery. Yeah, I'd, I'd have the oyster over yeah. the celery. Okay, I'll go with so... the group decision. I'd have probably gone slightly the other way, but they're, you know, but borderline. For me, I'd also go for, put the celery behind the tripe, because I really yeah, get enjoy the tripe. Actually, I'm going to put the tripe above the celery, personally. Oh, Okay. I'm really three, three to one. Guess three to one. Yeah. Guess win. Uh, um, don't forget we've got salsa porridge, dog food. I'm assuming for you, dog food's worse. That, that is definitely the worst definitely thing. Yeah. I'm going to say, just again, I think it's a mental thing, but I enjoyed the shark more than the dog food, personally. Yeah, yeah but more than the mead. Um, I'm going to say the, the mead's last, because yeah. it was the only thing I couldn't physically finish. Yeah. None of us finished the meat. No. no. That's what I would agree with that yeah. completely. So I think That's, it goes... Bad <laughs> meat is worse than <laughs> dog food. Dog that is... Dog salsa. I'd say meat salsa was better than the shark. Yeah, i think so. salsa was better than the shark. Yeah, fine. Um, I mean, the salsa... Uh, porridge salsa I could probably eat again. The you, shark. Said it's, you said it's fine student food, you know? Yeah. The only thing I would change from this list is I'd put the tripe further down this end. Yeah. I think everything else I can I can go with. I think the tripe I really struggled to swallow. So if it was just the tripe? Do you know what? Be... In fact, I'd probably put the dog food over the tripe. No. <laughs> really? really? Because I struggled to swallow the tripe. It's the jelly texture. Oh, okay. But that's Whereas got that marabone jelly in there, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of meaty as well, and it didn't taste as much. It just, yeah. Dog food was easier to eat than tripe for me. But if group, you know, group decision. We're good. Okay. So we've got satay chicken... Broccoli mousse. Uh, oysters. Oyster. Oh, yeah, oysters. Tripe. Sorry. Celery. Salsa porridge. Hakal, or fermented shark. Dog food from an unknown brand known as Fedigree Bum. <laughs> 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 and, um, again, unknown brand. Unknown mead. brand. Mead at last. Um, yeah. There you go. No, yeah, I'd agree with that. Yep. Yeah. I mean, people might be disappointed because this is going to be the episode entitled The Worst Food Ever. And let's face it, some of it's not that bad. I mean, no. A lot I mean, of it. <laughs> what, 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 once you get past the celery, things start getting a bit dicey. <laughs> yes. Future yeah. podcast guests, up your game. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but then if they'd known this was coming, maybe they would have thought of something This worse. is um, true. Uh, you might have also skewed their decision a little bit, but... And and that whole thing of putting someone on the spot, like yeah. if they know most of them didn't know in advance what was coming. The only one that knew in advance was Dan, and he knew we were going to be eating this this week as well. Thanks, Dan. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> so, wow. I'm not calling shenanigans on his story. But... Shenanigans. Well, we we weren't even dressed as Scooby Doo, mate. So you know, we've gone up, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a long haul, not a. Glass box. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. It's still kind of interesting actually that the hakal comes above the dog food because yeah, the hakal no, is the strongest does. flavor. It yeah. is the strongest yeah. flavor, but the knowledge that it's dog food <clears throat> is still rank. Now for me, it was like the dog food almost had like a little sandy grain to it. Oh, it's gritty. Yeah, the, it is very gritty. Some bones. bones. Yeah. There's definitely bones. Yeah, definitely some bone meal, bones. Bones. bones in the. That's no, what. No, no. Up. You see, bonios would be. Fine, but yes, fine. You're a connoisseur of dog food. Aren't you? <laughs> what we've discovered tonight so, is Dwayne yeah, knows all about dog food. He tries them all before he feeds the dog, and he doesn't own a dog. Yeah. No, I, I did. <laughs> I hope you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, you currently have a cat, right? Yeah. Because your How's guess with food? this was cat food. <laughs> if I'd brought out cat food, would you have eaten it? I'd have been worse for cat food. Let me find out. I'm not as so I, I would have fished very well. To be fair, had it been cat food, I'd probably give it a try. Um, <laughs> mainly because I'm not eating the cat. Well, I actually know technically try eating <laughs> cat food. <laughs> you know what helped me with the dog with the shark? 
because I really don't like fish. What helped me with the shark is it doesn't taste like fish. I just don't think it's that fishy. I mean, I've had people say mackerel, I've had people say whelks, so I'm going to say most people say No, it's for, for me... Whelks it's not a fish, though, is it? No, but it's the sea taste. Yeah, it's it, sea. I, I, you know what, for me, with fish, a lot of its texture I don't like, I think, so... Mm. I just kind of... Well, I think that, that's, that's the same with most food, isn't it? Most food, yeah. it's textures that are the problem. I didn't like mind tripe. the taste. <laughs> yeah, tripe, was, it tasted fine, yeah. but I couldn't swallow it because of the texture. Um, and I find that with oysters. But I preferred the oysters today. The oyster was all right. It moved up the list for me. I think the uh, fermented garlic made that. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's nearly a year old. It's quite pungent. fermented. <laughs> <laughs> it gets stronger. But, um, yeah, it's good stuff. Shall we have something nice and have some mead and I'll ask everyone the last two questions? Yeah, I was going to say yes. three, but we've done <laughs> one, I guess, already. Although we could return, as I said at the beginning... So we'll go the... back to the beginning. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? Is it still the same? Well, it's, it's pet food. <laughs> okay. And you didn't eat that today, so that's interesting. No. Opinion changed. All right. It just reminded you how much. Yeah. I, I, I actually, I actually yeah. had a little bit of a mental block. Honestly, for me, it's dog food now. Dog food? Even over the shark. Like the shark, I was like, oh, but the dog food, I, I, I gagged for a moment there, you know. What did you say before? I've forgotten. It was uh, locusts. Oh, yeah, locusts. That, that was a texture thing. Mm -hmm. um, fermented fish. But again, like, that is fermented fish that I've just eaten, and that was... Yeah. I, I handled that better than dog food, so... See? There's not many things I've spit out before. I swallowed the dog food, again. So that's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Uh, I've only ever spit out truffle and that mead. So, what was it, Thai? I think, yeah, pretty much. It's the only two foods I've ever actually spat out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say Thai on that for me. So, Even guess your spitting out reminds me. It's going to sound really lame, but I said I didn't like vegetables as a child. And one time, uh, family friends, we had a roast dinner, and I had what I thought was mashed potatoes. And I ate it, hating vegetables, and I gagged on it, and it was mashed swede. <laughs> which isn't that strong a flavour but because I was so against vegetables and yeah. I wasn't expecting it I, I was sat, and table full of people and I'm like going trying to swallow <laughs> this thing and I couldn't swallow it so I suppose I should have put that on my list oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. just you saying about like, not being able to swallow that's probably the only time so when do you um, what, what sounds like a delicacy really um, do you truffle swimming in uh, skunk meat <laughs> <laughs> oh <clears throat> right then, let's have some nice mead. There is a cup there, a, a glass there somewhere. I haven't tried this for a while. This is aged for quite a while now. Um, I haven't tried it for a while, but last the last bottle was good. But that was good. Thank you. This is quite dry for a mood. This is more. Oh, good man. This is more like a wine. So yeah, because as you guys missed last time round, you didn't get the bonus questions. So I thought we may as well cover them then. Although you know, if you ever return, I know what your worst foods ever are. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Ah, uh, my worst foods are double cheeseburger. Definitely, 100%. Oh, can't have that. Biryani. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. All right, so the next question is, and we'll, we'll do the same again, so we'll start with Dwayne down mm -hmm. here. Um, what's the most memorable meal you've ever had? Chicken and satin. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this one? <laughs> well, this is a memorable meal, definitely. Um, it's an eight-course meal. How many eight-course meals did you eat? Come on. Yeah, to be fair. Okay. Um... <laughs> I actually sat down and had a uh, Edwardian banquet. That was the most um, memorable meal I've ever had. Yeah. And it ran for like uh, eight or ten courses. Also very similar to this. Um, Just minus the dog food. Minus the dog food. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, that was all fancy Edwardian cuisine. It was all very nice. Um, my favorite, my, my favorite um, meal I ever had though was um, a Brazilian dish called feijoada. It's a meat and black bean stew, um, and they serve it with lots of rice. Um, slices of oranges and um, a, cor a ground cassava flour and oh my god it's very 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 nice nice yeah Andy um, most memorable meal um, this is definitely up there now this is definitely up there yeah. better or worse it's the weirdest it is definitely the weirdest <laughs> <laughs> um, started I with think... the luxury oysters and ended with dog food as <laughs> the uh, escalated so repeat your meal <laughs> mentally and physically um, I, I think for me <laughs> it was probably so I went to a Tudor banquet once but it wasn't a Tudor banquet it was just a normal meal in a Tudor hall of very... I mean it was nice but it was kind of disappointing in that sense but I went to a restaurant called uh, Archipelago I think in um in London for a friend's birthday. I think I've heard of it. And it's like, they do the weird and wonderful. Mm. And um, so we, it was a great day and we went there and, you know, sort of starter, main and dessert. And there was all sorts of things on offer. For a starter, I had um, python. I think it was python. It might have been bow. It was a big constrictor anyway. Interesting. Um, yep. Yeah, sort of cold cut, kind of a hammy, chickeny texture. Very... So uncooked. Kind of, it was. I think it had been cooked and then cooled, hmm. but um, I don't know about cooking snakes. I don't know if you have to cook it or if it's like stuff you can eat I raw. Or... I'd had a few drinks at that point as well, but um, yeah, I had that. And that, I had that a was... bit of a bite to it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's that right was... down. <laughs> <Is> it slimy. <laughs> um, it is. Anyway, <laughs> um, it, it was nicer than I thought it would be, um, but it, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I think it was alpaca I had for a main, yeah, um, which was amazing. You know, it's like it's like an even taste to your lamb. I mean, essentially, I'll kind of lamb from your necks, aren't they? But um, don't tell them that. <laughs> and the, the, the dessert was this ice cream thing with honeycomb with like kind of gla honey glazed toasted bees on it. It was just so weird. But they did all this sort of stuff. And so we tried different types of fish, zebra, things like that. We got a love bug salad, which was um, mealworms, crickets, and locusts, which is where I tried locusts. Mm. And to finish it off, we all had a shot of absinthe. And you know how you get the worm at the bottom of uh, tequila bottles? This and a snake at the bottom of this absinthe bottle. And it was all stuff like that. It was amazing. And I didn't want to try a lot of it. It looked gross as hell. But like I was the I was the one that worked in outdoor education. So I like I had a reputation that I was, so I was like, I'll have everything, you know? So I just tried bits of everything. It was memorable. Uh some of it was really good, like the alpaca, and most of it was horrible. But it was definitely my most memorable meal. It doesn't have to be good to be memorable. Yeah. So I'm going to go quite carnival here. But uh, my most memorable would have to be on my honeymoon. We were in uh, Florence, Italy. We had a Florentina steak. Something stupid size bit of meat, but just melted in your mouth. And uh, what just the, the setting of it was in the basement of a, of a wine house. So, you know, there's wine bottles everywhere and then just good meat, good atmosphere. Getting good meat. Spice <laughs> for a minute there. Yes. I thought you was going to break into the M and S. This isn't just a steak. This is any steak. This is the Florentina steak. <laughs> Spot yeah. so the Just, just realised that when we did the last thing, I didn't tell you who chose it. No, you didn't. No. It just like I didn't. Yeah, who chose satin? Who? There? Would, um, I mean hate? it. If you don't take it away from me, it will disappear. <laughs> crack on, son. <laughs> yeah, crack on. It's all good. Anything that I make or bring to a record, if you want to eat it, you eat it. That's like your food. 
Uh, where is it? There we go. Right, yeah, so one very last bit to have to look at. I'm here with the Welsh Viking, Jimmy. Hello. Again. What's the worst food you've ever eaten? Uh, so, I've got, a, I've got a slightly odd one, I think, because <clears throat> it's, um, it's a peanut sauce mm. that was made for me when I was in Canada a few years, like about ten years ago, I went over to Canada. So not like a satay? Not like a satay sauce. It was it was weird. It was like peanuts that had been blended up, and and it, it it was a it was like a spiced peanut sauce. So I guess it was it was like a satay, but it had like other weird flavorings in it. It was it was shite. It was awful. And I was I have never been so violently sick after eating something. Mm. I, it was almost instantaneous. Like I I ate it. I ate it all down. I thought oh, that was all right. Actually, that was okay. Because I don't like peanuts. I don't like the flavour of peanut. I'm not allergic to them. Yeah. And almost immediately, I had to just, I just, just technically yawned. Can you get me the recipe? We'll talk after. We'll you're talk a, after. You're a I've bad man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea. Assassination <laughs> attempt. But it was that. That's the worst thing. Well, or like, that's the worst food experience I've had. Yeah. Because it went from like, oh, quite looking forward to the, trying this new experience. And this wasn't as bad as I thought it would be to awful, violent projectile vomiting As we... all right so there's one last question that i ask everyone on patreon yes. it's i'm sorry guys bad news you've died it's expected um, for some iffy food that so doctor, <laughs> this knocked you in this was your final feat <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so you've died your family and friends are preparing i can't speak <laughs> so you've <died. laughs> it's done, done. Get to yourself let me have some more meat. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's what I'm going to Right, okay, yeah. Right, guys, so bad news. You've all died. Oh, no. Your family and friends are preparing your brick. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, no. Three chews and a swallow. <laughs> really? That's what you want in the grave, would you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Barrel of beer and a tin of pedigree shot. <laughs> oh, it hurt me. No. <laughs> right, guys, so bad news. You're all giggling. You've all died. And your family and friends are preparing your grave goods. What food and drink do you get to take to the feast in Valhalla? Well, for me, it's going to be a good beer. And a nice steak, something like a picanha. Um, for me, because uh, I'm high status, so I'm going to have a load. Um, dog food? Yeah, dog food, obviously. If my dog dad's food left charge, just... probably. <laughs> it's actually the most extreme difference, isn't it? We've gone from oysters to dog food. <laughs> well, <I'm> right now. <laughs> um, uh, there'd definitely be a vindaloo in there, I think. There'd definitely be a vindaloo. God. Stinking out the halls of Valhalla. <laughs> you're burying it. It's I fine. suppose you're dead the next day and then you come yeah, back. Yeah, that's and, it. That's so it. Do you, have shit, do you shit in Valhalla? That is a good point. That is, that's like a philosophical question, really. That, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? It's quite. Do you shit? We need to get the great minds on that. Anyone ask out mate there know? You, ask Matey from the, pod, from the uh, Norse Mythology podcast. Um, yeah. All right, Dan, do you know? Do you, do you shit, shit in Valhalla? In Valhalla? <laughs> I expect a whole episode. Or you might have to get uh, Matthias on that one. It's um, very philosophical. Absolutely. Um, so definitely a vindaloo. Um, um, my my girlfriend makes these uh, this amazing French toast with like a hundred and one toppings on it. So maybe that, and uh, probably a decent mead, not that one. <laughs> um, it's and, a decent uh, and a bottle of Trooper, I reckon. Trooper. See, for me, like, Valhalla's already full of quite some decent stuff. So I'd have to bring the sweet stuff. I'd have to bring a tiramisu. A tiramisu to Valhalla, I love that. There's your... Yeah. It's hard enough. Everyone, everyone with, their, with their fucking car, like, big meat. Can you want some tiramisu? Tiramisu, anyone? It's turning up on the budget. You've got oven gloves on with, like, a, a tray stick. <laughs> I don't know why you don't even cook the thing, but it's just funny with oven gloves. 
So yeah, definitely a tiramisu because it's one of my favourite desserts. Little little tray covered in foil. Yeah. And uh, mm. I think a nice uh, a nice white wine just to throw things off. Yeah, everyone's Classic. bringing mead, aren't they? Yeah. See. Everyone's bringing mead. Everyone's bringing mead and, and, mead and ale. There's ale, plenty of stuff to go around. So I'm going to bring, white white. Gonna bring, bring the, uh, the, the, the odd stuff. I'll be that guy that brings the uh, dog the food. weird shit and the dog food. That's, that's <laughs> the side. That's the trick. It's a tiramisu. Stick of celery. Surprise! It's dog food. Yeah. Oh, I've had another idea for an episode. Go on. No, I don't know. Should I reveal it now? Oh, could they? Give us a teaser. Dog or dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! This is my last appearance on me. Well, I'm like your podcast. <laughs> you remember I used to have a dog. Yeah. <laughs> and you remember I said you can't get dog legally in this country. <laughs> well, it turns out there's a loophole. <laughs> so, guys, my dog, dog, dog food. <laughs> my dog died of natural causes. And <laughs> yeah, that's very sinister. Where you just like. Look at the camera go, oh, natural causes. <laughs> hey, he said it, not me. If my dog dies of natural causes, I'm coming for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I think we should leave it there, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyone for seconds before we go? No. I'll take the most with me. going to share it with Caroline. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming on again, guys. Thanks for having us. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed the show and want to hear more, remember to like and subscribe and give the show a rating. You can also help keep the show going by becoming a Patreon where you'll get early access to all episodes. Or check out my range of merch on my store. Links are in the episode description. Thanks for watching. (laughs) 